All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here with all your cool wrestling factoids, all the action inside and outside of the ring of the WWE, AEW, every professional wrestling organization. If it makes headline news in the professional wrestling industry, we talk about it here at the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast, uh, presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Uh, just kind of reflect on what we talked about real quick. We had our WWE NXT review. We had our AEW Dynamite preview. And now we're going to jump on into our FTW Championship, uh, you know, bout here. You know, uh, recently in an interview at the, you know, during the post, uh, you saw a lot of people obviously hit up that Super Chat. You know, hit up that Super Chat, Super Stickers, because you guys are super awesome. Can't do the show without you guys a thousand and ten percent. So make sure you guys... Uh, you know, make sure you guys, you know, hit up that link. Send, you know, obviously, if you have a burning question or a hot take in terms of professional wrestling, I want to hear about it. Uh, so, yeah, don't be shy. Drop those questions inside the chat and uh, super chat. It's the dollar sign below the chat box. So make sure, uh, yeah, so we can have a nice, uh, you know, conversation going because the show is a hell of a lot better with, the, you know, a lot of audience engagement. Believe me. Uh, now, so we're going to talk about the FTW champion. Like I said, after AEW's all in, you saw Tony Khan being kind of asked a question by journalists saying, Do you know, don't you think the FTW championship is kind of a joke? Obviously, Tony Khan got, you know, got a little flustered. You could tell by the look on Hook's face that he, you know, he was a he was a thousand ten percent, you know, not pissed off, but he was kind of like, all right, like. Because that title is much more than just a title. That's the title his dad created. His dad's, um, obviously, you know this, but he his dad's Taz, you know, in ECW. So, uh, obviously, you know, he saw AEW uh, Vice President, uh, uh, President Tony Khan come to the rescue and kind of shoot that down immediately. I thought it was kind of cool. I, you know, I, I love how he represents his uh, his wrestlers. And 1,010%, uh, that's something I believe a lot of what AEW they're they're your superstars you know that's what that's what they have in their back pocket they have a you know a vice president or a president that's you know that that's going to go to battle for them like this wwe really did they really have that with vince mcmahon i feel like overall vince mcmahon was kind of like that mentality of like rule with an iron fist whatever i say goes like you know what i mean like but tony Khan, obviously he's a little more open than that he understands that life does happen um you know you're not the only wrestling promotion in the world. Obviously, he does take WWE in consideration. He has a lot of respect for WWE. He even said in an interview that he does poke fun at WWE sometimes because you know it's just it's just fun to kind of get the two wrestling, you know, wrestling promotions kind of at you know at odds with each other. You know, I mean, kind of having that you know Monday Night Raw and uh, Monday Night Nitro kind of you know and that's just that's just strategic like public relations, and I feel like that's overall. I feel like that's pretty cool. I feel like, you know, I think that's pretty awesome. So the FTW, is it a joke? The FTW championship, is it a joke? Does it remind you of titles like the 24-7 championship? Does it remind you of titles like the WWF hardcore championship? Uh, the FTW championship is kind of like a breath of nostalgia for, uh, you know, for ECW fans. You know, like I said, Taz did create it. Obviously, you see right there, Sabu winning that title from Taz. And since Taz's name is engraved on it, he put over a sticker with his name on it. I thought that was pretty bad. I thought that was pretty cool. So, um, you know, overall, I don't think the FTW Championship is a joke. It is indeed a little unique. It is a little unique, but obviously, you know, uh, AEW embraces that, um, you know, PG-13 and above kind of mentality in terms of their viewership and audiences. Uh, you know, they love it. They love it a thousand and ten percent. That's a huge reason why I, you know, I... I, I like AEW. I do. You know, you see blood. You see, you know, someone throwing a curse word here and there. You see like a like a gruesome promo or you just see, I don't know. It's just overall, I I you know, I respect what Tony Khan is doing. And the FTW championship, you know, it's been a steeple with AEW since it kind of, you know, since it made its way um into existence in 2019. It's a great, it's it's a great way. It's a great way for superstars to kind of, you know. You know, like you saw Jungle Boy Jack Perry, like when he was making that transition into being that, you know, okay, do I want to be a mid card my whole entire life? Do I want to be known as the Jungle Boy or do I want to be known as the scapegoat Jack Perry? Also, when Hook started, when Hook started, he had the championship as well. Brian Cage, 
the leader of the cage of agony. Like he's so, he's impressive as hell. Obviously, like you know, holding that title, he made that prestigious. So you know, a lot of superstars did hold this championship. Like I said, Chris Jericho as well. He was you know he made that championship great. He just you know he pissed everybody off. It's gonna be interesting to find out the learning tree mentality as soon as they make their way onto uh aew dynamite tonight maybe they have a little bit of a maybe a thorn in their side maybe a thumbtack up their butt and you know chris jericho turns heel the whole learning tree just absolutely goes crazy i know big bill the learning tree got a huge positive response when he had his match with hook so maybe it could possibly maybe being his time to shine maybe he challenges hook next um but overall i, I you know i think the ftw championship although it is unique and although it might not make a lot of sense to wrestling fans, because throughout wrestling, well, it's when a lot of wrestling promotions went down under, you had WWE kind of staple its name as the main, you know, kind of like, okay, this is what it means to be a wrestling promotion. You don't need blood. You don't need thumbtacks. You don't need chairs. You don't need people, th- 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 you know, throwing themselves off Titantrons. But, um, but uh, FTW Championship, the AEW, they, they, pushed the, they pushed the envelope. And the fans seem to love it. The fans seem to love it. Obviously, people love and respect Hook when he makes his way inside of the ring every single time. And, you know, the FTW Championship is not just... It's not the only championship in AEW. You know what I mean? Like, if people want to, like, be like, oh, I don't want to fight for the FTW Championship, then, you know, you can, there's Continental. There's also the International. There's the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. There's also this new partnership that Tony Khan has with Ring of Honor. You can challenge for all the Ring of Honor belts. Also, the New Japan Professional Wrestling, all the New Japan Professional Wrestling strong belts, the CMLL, the Willow of Nightingale, an AEW superstar is the CMLL World Women's Champion. So obviously, there's you know a lot of different ways you can go about your career. Um, you know, the journalist that kind of you know mentioned it, uh, I, I I see what he means. I definitely a thousand and ten percent kind of see what he means. You know, the um, I watched a, a pay per view AEW Double or Nothing at. Las Vegas, where you know Chris Jericho threw out a bunch of dice and suplexed um, Hook onto it, and I was like, "All right, and, you know, it's starting to get a little, you know, it's starting to get a little, you know." But overall, that's you know, what do you expect? What do you expect? Like, you know, what I mean, like the FTW Championship, it is what it is. It's it's not made to make superstars who hold it into this on screen kind of person you can't take serious. You know, it's it's not a joke. It's not a joke to them. So why do you have to disrespect it? You know, if someone's holding the, you know, when our truth hold the 24-7 championship, you know, people be like, oh, that title's a joke. Dude, I held that title proud. If I won, if your GSMC Wrestling Laureate podcast host, Eric Rodriguez, held the 24-7 championship of WWE, I would 1,010% be like, dude, this is sick. I feel like I've won the WWE WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I felt like I've won the Larry O'Brien Trophy. I feel like I've won the Stanley Cup. That's how, like, do like it's a, a title is a title. A title is most importantly, in terms of professional wrestling, it's a way to kind of convict and kind of you know intervene different types of storylines. It's a way to kind of put faces of superstars in like you know on the mix. And Hook is an impressive talent. In AEW, so he holds the championship proud for his father, and you know, you know, just the, I don't know, it shouldn't be considered ever as like you know, it's a joke. Any belt, any belt should, you know, well, you know, the twenty four seven hardcore championship during the WWF run was a little, was a little bit when Crash Hall, Crash Holly was trying to make, you know, trying to crash out in the APA office, and then you had, uh, then you had, uh, I think it was JBL, I think it was JBL who covered him, and then you had the referee count slowly and quietly, he was like. Like it was, it was funny. It was cool, but it served its purpose. The you know WWF fans knew exactly what it was, and they didn't resent it. They took it as a way to kind of you know be entertaining. So definitely love uh, you know, I, I love wonky you know I love wonky bookings. I love wonky titles and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's kind of crazy. And if you really think about it, if you really think about it, this title is the only title that is left out of ECW. The only title left standing. Hook made ECW history. Uh, well, AEW history, winning the um, FTW championship three times. Journalist Sam Smith, instead of congratulating Hook, would actually kind of insult the title holder. You know, it was, it was, you know kind of crazy. Uh, basically saying it with, you know, calling it, you know, a bit of a joke, irritating Tony Khan and, uh, you know, Hook. The FTW championship was brought in as like a really important part of the company. 
um, uh, created by Hook's father, Taz. ECW's legit alternate to uh, ECW's title legit. Okay, basically, when people thought about the ECW World Heavyweight Championship, they thought of the FTW Championship as like kind of like it's equal. Kind of like it's equal, you know, back once during the ECW days. Um, it's um, right now it, it has been inactive. It has been inactive for 21 years, obviously, you know, brought back. Uh, the two belts were was unified, the FTW Championship, also the, you know, the um, the ECW Championship. That's why it's not, it's no longer called the FTW Championship. It's the World Heavyweight FTW, uh, you know, wrestling champion, you know, kind of, you know, being that last nostalgic breath of ECW. A lot of fans still watch, still watch highlights of ECW. I'm one of those guys who was like, you know, they, you know, during its time, it was appropriate. During its time, it was cool, it was badass, it was edgy. It was very, you know, could, at times could be a little gruesome. But overall, I feel like the title has served its purpose on AEW. And I don't know, I just don't really feel like it should be, uh, you know, kind of talked out a little bit. All right, so the FTW history um, obviously is now updated. We have Ricky Starks, who held the championship for 378 days. Brian Cage held it for 377. Chris Jericho, 124. Sabu, 92 days. Taz held it for 219. Imagine 2000. That's crazy. Uh, 219 days. Jack Perry, scapegoat, held the FTW World Championship for 39 days. Hook has held it for an astounding 596 days. In his third time reign, a huge round of applause. Round of applause for my man Hook right there. When you see the signal high in the sky, now don't fear, Hook is here. So, you know, definitely love him as an FTW champion. I like the way he holds it. Obviously, you know, representing his father, you know, pretty damn well. And just the ECW chain, you know, that was something that was very special to Taz, something that was very special to Paul Heyman, something that was very special to people like the Dudley Boys, just incredible. The, you know, the Sandman, Rob Van Dam. You know, a lot of, you know, probably people look at the FTW championship, they kind of see it, they're like, you know, that's cool. That's cool. All right, guys. So, guys, do not go anywhere. We're going to talk about Becky Lynch trends during AEW All. And you saw Jamie Hader make her debut. Um, not her debut, her return. And she looked exactly like Becky Lynch. I mean, she started trending during AEW, uh, you know, All In. So, we're going to talk about that when uh, we, we, when we return. So, hey, do not go anywhere. Mm -hmm.